Automation! Because I be believe you didn't click on it quickly enough. Uh, no, I'm I'm in it. I'm on. You see, automation. Yeah. Of course, you clicked on it quickly enough, you fucking traitor. Uh. Okay. Anyway, uh. <laughs> <laughs> on the occasion of the delivery of the first working sample of a 32-bit processor at the Combinat Microelectronic Airfoot, Mirke stated, Neither an ox nor a donkey can stop the progress of socialism. Vork continues. Oh fucking hell. Piece of- What the fuck?! That's- Honestly, this- This is like the most annoying part about this game. I don't even know what we picked. We didn't- uh, Yeah. Yeah. I do not even know what we picked. Um, party line Leninism. Increased liberalization. Wait, can you do that like automatically? No. I'm not sure. I've never tested it. You know. Oh, wait, uh, could you pause? Okay. Uh, could you hover over Vestalgy? It's minus 0 0.1. Thank fucking God. Why? We might actually afford to do stuff now. First off, we'll need science facilities. A lot of them, at least two. Okay. At some point. Okay. Man, I wanted to pick the best option for automation, though. Money, oh, yeah, we do. We fucking do. Oh! Uh -huh. Neither from the west nor the east. Oh, jo oh Jesus, is big brain's gonna happen now. Anyway. Gunther Mittag played a serious role in shaping the foreign policy of the GDR. As party leader of the economy, Mittag followed or closely interacted with Alexander Schalk Golodkovsky, who was dedicated to covert monetary and financial operations, oversaw the unspoken economic context with FRG, played an important role in the negotiations for obtaining German-German loans. Mitak's connections with Western financiers and politicians aroused dissatisfaction with the orthodox wing of the party elite and the cautiousness of the leadership of the CPSU. Subsequently, Mitak talked about a tough confrontation with the orthodox, figuratively speaking of ambush shots. Contrary to Brezhnev's dissatisfaction, Honecker sanctioned Mitak's activities since the GDR was in desperate need of financial assistance from the FRG. However, by the end of the 1980s, Mitak stated that the economy of the GDR could no longer wait for salvation neither from the West nor from the East. Perhaps we should rely on our own resources and further automate the economy! You see, this is this is why, like, the, the previous event I wanted to pick the big brains. Or is it worth trying to get the help from the West by allowing the functioning of small, medium and joint ventures, allowing foreign investments in underdeveloped and unprofitable spheres? Uh, however, we can try to attack assistance from the West and from the East and even from the whole planet by moving to market lines in the economy. Oh, <laughs> open the economy! Uh, and even introducing multiple benefits for foreigners. But who is ready for this in our time? Okay, so we can do everything. We are. We are. <laughs> See, okay. This is big brain, but we want to reform the economy, so no. Um... Do not panic, everything is fine. I, I, f I don't think everything is fine. We will build a birdcage for private traders and force foreigners... That's such... <laughs> that's a citation from a Chinese guy. Um, that's that's the metaphor that he used, like the, the economy must be put in a birdcage, you know. And force the foreigners to walk for us! <laughs> this Sounds proper German edition. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Exactly. Nothing remains except to move to a socialist market economy. Uh, these two... See, like, okay, automation's always cool, but we're not doing it. Uh, man, we have yeah. 23 agents, damn. And the, other, and the other two, I don't know how... Well... The third one sounds fun, mainly because of that last line, but at the same time, the fourth one is just open everything, but... Which is what I wanted to go with, but... Yeah, I think that this is, uh... uh it's so hard. Nah, nah, we're doing socialist market economy. 
Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> the original goal and mission of the German communists is to fight for the happiness of the German people and the rebirth of the German nations without for a moment forgetting our mission, bearing the great value of socialism with the German characteristics, <laughs> achieving a decisive victory in the full construction oh, yeah. of the comparatively well of proletarian society, winning a great victory of socialism with the German characteristics in a new era. <laughs> this is literally Chinese just uh, with German. German. Currently, various departments of the state council control the work and make decisions on more than 1.7 thousand issues! <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Our government decided to reduce this number by more than a third. Simply put, what the market can do is to be handed to the market. What society can do is to be handed to society. To achieve the economic goals of the current five-year plan, incentive policy or direct private investment is not enough. It is necessary to rely on the deregulation, investment and the people's entrepreneurship. The era of the market economy has began. It started with the privatization of unprofitable enterprises, the creation of foreign investment zones and the removal of most of the goods prices from the state regulation. That is the best fucking Sino-German speech I've ever heard. Oh, well, th this is big brain. I absolutely... Also, our standard of living just fell massively. Well, yeah, obviously, because, you know, we're integrating with people who are richer than we are. Is it still decreasing, by the way? Of course it is. Um, we're going to need to build some farms. Yeah, but... No, I think a science base is more important at the moment. The army base? But Westalgia oh, is... Research oh, Research Institute. Research Institute. Really now? Because we do get some standard... We really get some standard of living bonuses from the tech. Sure. And Research Institute increase tech research by a lot. Like, by a lot. Okay. I believe we'll be able to get level 2 tech in like... 160 days or just 100 days. Interesting. Okay. That's awesome. Ooh, Operation Valkyrie! <laughs> <laughs> Comrade General Secretary, as you remember 45 years ago, a group of Wehrmacht officers led by Ludwig Beck tried to organize a coup against Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, today our people are experiencing... Oh no, wait. But earlier we were silent about the exploit and our heroes were Telman, Liebknecht and Rosa Luxemburg. Today our people are experiencing not the best days and perhaps we need a new national hero to rally the nation in such a difficult time. Actually, it is not. It is worth remembering that not all the participants were supporters of socialism and some of them were absolutely ardent nationalists. Okay, recognize the plotters who advocated just peace. Do it, just recognize. Yes. Just oh, that actually added a lot of nostalgia, and that decreased the unity of the party quite a bit. Damn, we need to we need to re oh, re increase okay. this. Yeah. Um, most people conspirators. We'll deal with it. We'll do it live. <laughs> we need to slow down, probably. Oh, an offer to was received from the Federal Republic of Germany to jointly celebrate the anniversary of the conspiracy. Fucking radical centrism. Hey, now we're now we're fucking um, teal. We are Stasi reformism. That's amazing. Yeah, the standard of living is not dropping too much now. And the nostalgia is dropping, and the unity of the party is going up, and the money is okay. Oh shit! There's events. New Cambodia. The Cambodian Vietnamese conflict has been smoldering for a long time. But recently, the situation in the country has stabilized. Most of the Khmer Rouge groups and the coalition organizations have been destroyed. And the provisional Cambodian government established by the Vietnamese army is controlling the country and has a strong army. In such conditions, the Vietnamese government considers the further deployment of troops too expensive. And therefore, according to rumors, will soon begin the withdrawal of troops. In principle, there is nothing wrong with this. But who can guarantee that the new Cambodian government will become our ally? Some of our generals believe it is necessary to expand the intervention by replacing the Vietnamese contingent with the Warsaw Pact contingent. <laughs> That's fucking enormous. But another part believes that one should simply save part of the Vietnamese troops, which is enough to ensure security. However, the Soviet Union and other international organizations fully support this Vietnamese step, 
and the remaining Khmer's enter into an alliance with the monarchists to prepare the seizure of power. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I feel like this has more to do with the socialist camp unity than anything else. Yeah. But I f feel like we can't really support the withdrawal of the troops with the current party unity we have. Yeah, we'll just do nothing and wait for the reaction of the USSR, right? I think that's that might increase the party unity. I feel, I feel, I feel like decisive action is what gives us party unity, actually. Hmm, okay. So maybe insist on keeping the Vietnamese troops? I feel like that's our best option. Yeah. Also, our... our... Yeah, it increased it slightly. Yeah, okay. That's pretty I good. Think. Also, also, our diplomatic reputation is actually in a very yeah. good spot at the moment. We can yeah, we're just we're just in the middle. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> and another thing, once events pop up like this, instead of clicking on the event, click pause because if you click on the event, you won't be able to go back to the screen to check stuff. While the pop up will still be there if it's paused. Interesting. That's uh, that's really weird. Uh. All right. Okay. There's a bunch of... Uh, and I, I had to click it. Crisis of the Polish People's Republic. You, you could have just clicked and pause, like I said. Yeah, but, like, I don't know the pause... Like, I, I don't know if there's a pause button. The, pa the pause... The, pa <laughs> the big play... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what the pause there is. I just don't know if there's a hotkey. Um, which would be pretty useful, oh, actually. <laughs> Man. The Solidarity Trade Union led by Lech Walesa succeeded in holding elections, as well as the fact that for many years, members of the coalition with the P the ruling party of Poland, the United Peasant Party and the Democratic Party have become opposition! Oh no! <laughs> in the past elections, the Poof retained the majority in the same... Wait, did the fucking Polish People's Republic still called the thing the same? Okay. And half of the government posts, but it lost the Senate, where all but one place was occupied by Solidarity. The Prime Minister, appointed by President Jaruzelski Czeslaw Kiszczak, who also heads the minute. It's I Polish. Be... I might be Slavic, but even I don't get Polish. It's like Kiszczak. <laughs> Uh, can, cannot form a government in any way. Should we somehow react? The positions of the solidarity are very strong. It is not known that something can be changed. <laughs> Germany and Poland, here we go again. Support the Polish communists diplomatically and fin financially. We could congratulate the government on the first free elections. That's definitely not gonna be liked by, uh, you know, the unity of the party. Maybe. Just saying, just saying. It, it, it just that it just I'm thinking, what party? Like at this point, is the party even communists? Um, right. Yeah. That that's the, that's the always the difficult thing about fucking uh, these games. You never know what you are. Also, <laughs> I might have to check our political tab at some point. Yeah, we're gonna have to check after the event, but I'm gonna support them. There's still another event in Germany that we we'll have to do. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, and this... we lost money and we gained no party support. <laughs> no, but that, that's fine, that's fine. We just want Poland not to collapse. Uh, even without Jaruzelski's permission, we used our agent networks and cells in Poland. This concretely provoked a protest from democratic organizations. And also Western countries falsely accused us of interfering in the affairs of a sovereign state, but who cares? The USSR reacted to our actions as a whole neutrally, it seems. They have their own problems there. Czeslav Czyskask was able to form a stable coalition of individuals' representatives from various parties, but the opposition has already dubbed it a house of matches. In their opinion, only one serious crisis is enough to set it on fire. The position of the Polish communists has been shaken, but the formation of a new cabinet has delayed the inevitable. Okay. And there's an event in Germany! Uh, and yeah. Oh shit, this one. I remember this one. I have never played this game, but I know that this event exists. Um, get around the wall, so... Fuck. Hmm. 
Close borders and ban departure to Hungary. I would, I would have just let them freely leave, but at the same time, I feel like we are in a very unstable situation at the moment. Yeah, we're just good. allow paid departure, because, you know, money. Give us some money. See, that did not even uh, destroy really? any of our unity or anything, so that's good. Uh, provided that the state is being reimbursed the costs of free social security and housing. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. All right. That's that's good. Uh, also, we might we might search up India for the asylum thing now to get part unity. Right, that was a good idea. That was a pretty good idea. Um, and that's why we saved these events. Yep. Um, politics. Cool. Let's see. We we have Kadarism. Okay, so we are reformism. Okay. Okay. Freedom limited, regulated market. Yes, let's increase liberalization. Yeah. What can we do here with uh, the ideology minister? Fighter for automation who annoys the party. Partocrat who tries to sit on two chairs. Nah, that, that's fine. Let's keep the Stasi guy. We need to save money. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh Okay, so we have two events, one in uh, Hungary and one in Germany. This service. Hungary probably has something to do with them. Hungary Pol probably has something to do with them becoming even more reformist. Mm, yeah, most likely. Poland declares that it open ho opens its borders, including for the receptions of refugees from the GDR and their transit to the West. And this despite the fact that oh, Poland and its population themselves are experiencing hard times because of the reforms shock therapy. Maybe it's worth using. Yeah, no, just uh, just allow the paid the the paid leave. More paid. I mean, you More know. Paid borders. That actually does some nostalgia, but that's fine. All right. What about Hungary? End of the Hungarian People's Republic. Urgent news from Hungary. Oh, In Budapest. A Congress of the Hungarian Socialist Workers' Party was held, where representatives of the Marxist Leninist wing, led by the nominal ruler of the country and party leader Karoli Grosch, were in fact in the minority. Grosch de facto has lost his real power before, having formed a presidium where the majority were against the old course. Worse, the Social Democrats, who prevailed at the Congress, decided to create the so-called Hungarian Socialist Party. But it did not any de take any decisions about the M -sh -m -p. I'm guessing it's like the Hungarian Socialist Workers Party. Uh, thus, the situation in Hungary is completely incomprehensible. <laughs> true, true. Well, I'm. That's conclusion. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that that seems uh, that seems pretty pretty accurate. Should we intervene? In the end, we must somehow support our ally. The truth is, it would be quite difficult to deal with the mess, which makes the Social Democrats. So we will have to be prepared for the serious consequences. Okay. So what would entail helping Marxist and Karoli Grosch? Probably one money. It's just a less extreme option of three. Yeah, let, let's see what helps. So this is just about... Okay, so it's basically as an opposition force which thinks to a new flow of finances and assistance from the secret cells of our special services. Launched a campaign to actively criticize the neoliberal reforms in the country. Power, of course, will not return to them, but in the crisis from the fall of socialism will not be so strong in relation to the rest of the socialist camp. Okay, that's pretty good then. So we help... We so collect some money. Yeah, I know, I know. And oh. they're blue. Oof. Oh, yeah, they're blue. Ooh, parade. However, the political situation makes this event somewhat dangerous. Possible provocations of our opponents! There is also a question, will General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev be invited? Okay. Um. Uh, what do we invite Gorbachev, but I don't think that's a good idea. We need party unity. Wait, inviting Gorbachev would not be good for party unity? No, it would essentially be sh bootlicking. In a way. Mm. Are we sure? 
Gorbachev's yeah, invitation. Oh, oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. On the other hand, Gorbachev's invitation can lead to literally anything. So I think it's saying that it might like b have him like speak about like reforms or whatever. So no, yeah, probably not a good idea to invite <laughs> to invite Gorbachev. Hold parade. Oh, that was expensive. Yeah. I think Chris party in to do. That's good. That's good. Now we just absolutely need to get money. Uh Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, the USSR is mad. Oh shit. Don't worry. If it if it gets to zero, it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, okay. That's see much. See, I thought that they would like excommunicate you and try to get you removed or whatever. Oh, researchers are done. Oh, we researched. Uh don't go into research thing because it takes like money to pick on your research. At oh, okay. One or two money, I believe. Okay, so let's just, wait then. We'll have to let. We'll have to collect a little bit. Yeah, we we need like at least ten money all the time. Well, I believe we need at least four or three to get a new reason, Greece. So fuck. Greece event. The Greek question. Events. Soon there will be parliamentary elections in Greece. Now the PASOK party, Pan-Hellenic Socialist Movement, led by Andreas Papandreou, is in power. With this left Social Democrats' positions and promoting friendship with the Socialist camp in the USSR. However, the situation in the country has recently been aggravated by scandals directed against the authorities. Therefore, the opposition Nua Democracy Party has all the chances to win. Of course, the fact that they will help, they will manage to win is still not set in stone. But maybe we should help the ruling party diplomatically and with our agent network. Nah, we don't have the money. Um, uh, I like how we still, we can support the opposition. Yeah, the fairs agrees to not concern us. In line with American politics. Oh, that's sad. <gasps> Shit, India. Of course. Indian gambit. In the parliamentary elections in India, the ruling party, the Indian National Congress, headed by Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, lost its majority in the parliament. On December 2, a new multi-party government was sworn in, led by VP Singh. And the new government aims at liberalizing the economy and neutral, balanced sort of foreign policy, as opposed to the socially oriented policy and pro-Soviet orientation. Um... We might... Oh, uh, option 3 is the best one, I believe, in this. Yeah, cooperation with the new government. Also, the money enters barely anything. Yep. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Singh's coalition willingly went with us to cooperate, and although it is too early to talk about political cooperation, close trade and economic relations have already been established. Good, 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 good. Oh, that actually put give, gave us some nostalgia. That's not good. Oh, actually, India's blue. That's not good. But fine, we still have trade, we still have the good things. Good. Fuck. Czechoslovak bypass, yeah, that's just a wall. <laughs> Close borders. Ooh, with the help of incentive social programs offered to stay in the country. That's expensive, that's probably. Money. And yeah, uh, we want the liberalization of the market. The, the people must provide for themselves. Yes. If you have money, okay, you can just leave. research now while we have money. Right, uh, okay. Another event. We need to pick a research. I recommend the second one. Yeah. The second uh, industry? It increased the budget. Yeah, and the million. standard of living, definitely. See, it only costs 119 days this time. Our citizens go to Bulgaria and Romania massively. Well, um, all other borders are already closed. All other borders are already paid for departure. Nah, paid. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the new alcohol? <laughs> it keeps adding in nostalgia, though. Yeah, but it's okay. Don't worry. Monday yeah, demonstrations. Okay, so basically they want political reforms. They can go fuck themselves. Um, the appearance of reforms will give us time. 
See, um, if we were true, if we were true followers of the great thought of Deng Xiaoping, we would send in the tanks, but there is no tanks, uh... Well, option 2 is as close as we can get to them, I believe. Closed churches and any any civil pro uh, under any civil pre pre pretext and established surveillance for pastors. Close the church that took out ten nostalgia. Wow, that was the good way. And the key unifying role in the protest movement was played by the church. See, actually, um, we didn't read the event, but in the event, it actually said that like the Stasi is in favor of closing the churches. So we could do it because we're Stasi. <laughs> Top oh, kick! Boy. We could do it because we're Stasi, but we're also reformists, so everyone's happy. Uh, <laughs> okay, free communication and reflection for the opposition. But we have caught on with this. In cities with a high level of protest, the churches will close with restoration. Uh, Smaller churches and churches in another city were subjected to a limited visit and cordoned off by the Volkspolizei in order to protect the safety of the streets in order to avoid disorder. Okay, okay, okay. We might need to buy a factory soon. Yeah, I mean, we have income, but yeah, we're gonna need to buy factories. Maybe now when the opposition is beheaded and the chaos is created in the strengths, will the protests come for an end? Okay. Oops. So it, w it was the fucking priests. Oh, uh, regulating those things costs money, so be careful. Oh, really now? Okay. But look at that, 101 support of the people. The glorious... Before you start again, could we just quickly check through all the countries because of our new found diplomatic reputation? True. We already have the trade here. <laughs> That's so great. That is so amazing. Egypt? Okay. Ooh, restore friendly relations. Ah, uh, but the USSR is not in the CMEA and we are in the alliance. Would restoring relations cost money? Probably. Oh, fuck. Can we check Libya, Algeria, Morocco? I know we can we can do diplomacy with Iran. I know those can be clicked on. Libya, Algeria, yeah, right. Right wing, left wing. Oh yeah, that's Algerians in the Civil War, of course. We probably don't have the money to influence that. No, not yet. Um, what about NATO? Nope. Invite foreign investors. Yes, yes, let's do it. Yes, go. <laughs> And we got oh wow! Look at that party unity! Yeah, Westalgia. but see, but Westalgia, yeah, Westalgia, that's unfortunate. Whoa, if we weren't a member of the Warsaw Pact, we could be in the European uh, economic community. Yeah, basically. Yeah, there's all the weird Ireland things that I do not understand. Swift Bank! <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that. That is a last resort for when we need party popularity, or party unity. Of course. Wait, there is what? at least one fully open border. Oh, shit! We might have gotten... Mm. Let's just hope for one more of it like that. We could fully open one of the borders, you know? It might increase nostalgia, but let's do Yeah, it. but West... No, nostalgia, brother. Nostalgia's a bad okay. thing. Actually, what can we do with Yugoslavia? Nothing. Or oh, provide humanitarian assistance where we don't have the money for it. Yeah. We'll probably need to build a factory with the money we currently have. Hmm. Just so we can get more, more of it. More money. Oh, we might actually have to upgrade the city. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade something. Uh, upgrade the one that's the cheapest with one. Yeah. We can't build anything because... Yeah, obviously. It increased so far to... Yeah, it had to reset. 